Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Nur Aisha Hafizan binti Sabtura from Faculty of Applied Science and Technology, University Tun Hussein on Malaysia. Today, I will present about my idea on preparation and characterization of irradiated peanut ink for consumer product. There were a lot of attempts have been done to encounter the environmental effect that comes from petroleum-based ink. It is also the main reason that they are a present of the use of vegetable-based ink. It can yield the lesser varieties of colors which are suitable in the production of vibrant saturated colors when print. The vegetable-based ink also has a great ability in ink covering when it is being used. The aim of this work is to study about the suitability of peanut oil in order to make another type of vegetable-based ink from the beans family. It can be achieved through the following objective where we want to study the physical and chemical properties of beans and investigate the effect of peanut oil during the pre- and post-condition after irradiation. This paper used a journal wrote by Barros and Prudential in 2016, Erhan et al. in 1992, and Al Bashir in 2015 as a guide to achieving the objective stated. This section will explain about the review of the experimental literature on the production of vegetable based ink from the peanut oil. In this part, there will be an explanation about the characteristic of the grease used in the making of vegetable based ink and irradiation towards the peanut oil. Physical and Chemical Properties of Peanut Beans Physical properties portray the components that can be grouped without the need for chemical identity to be changed while chemical properties were determined when there was a change that occurred in the molecular structure. The research about this study has been conducted in 2016 by Marcio de Barros and Sandra Helena Prudencio where they discovered the properties of beans that were popular in regions of Brazil. There were seven kinds of beans used which were Saracura, Juriti, Perola, IAPAR31, IAPAR81, Carioca, and Colibri. The researchers applied eight tests to gain the chemical and physical properties. The beans were tested based on their size, which then concluded that the average sizes are small should they weight. They used the weight of 100 units of each pellet to classify it according to the class size. They also evaluated the colors of the bean according to the color parameter by using the Gardner Colorometer Model 45. They measured the hardness of the beans using TAX T2 Texture Analyzer in the units of Newtons. Then, the robins undergo a water absorption test when it is on a maceration process. The maceration process is a test that aims the decreasing of time for the pellets to cook because when heated, the water will favor the deportation of heat. It is also certified through the cooking time needed and beans integrity when under heating treatment. They tested the mineral contents inside the beans by using the digestion of raw beans with a chemical solution consists of nitric perchloric acid. To get to know about the beans' moisture, lipids, and protein, they undergo the approximate composition to determine the total carbohydrate of each bean for 100 grams of sample. The researchers concluded that Saracura, which the one that has high mineral contents, is the best beans recommended for the processing works in the industry. This valuable result can show the suitability of oil from the peanut as an important material in the making of ink. This is because peanut contains a high level of mineral content too. Irradiation of peanut oil by gamma rays Based on the research done by Mahfuz al-Bashir in 2015 about the quality characteristic of oil extracted from gamma irradiated peanut, Arakis Hypogea L, he committed to determining the effect of the radiation to the oil collected from the peanuts. The samples were selected to be irradiated at the doses of 0, 1, 2 and 3 kg of the gamma irradiation.
He used three methods in determining the characteristics of peanut oil when it was irradiated, which are the treatments and analysis, the physiochemical and statistical traits. He placed the non-irradiated and radiated samples at room temperature for about one year under a relative humidity. Then, the properties of both samples were analyzed after being put for 12 months. The traits of grease under a physiochemical test were done in three types of measurements, which were the determination of fatty acids using GC17 Ashimatsu chromatograph, chemical analysis, and color measurement by using FSPEC spectrometer version 1. When he analyzed the data, he stated that the radiated samples of the peanut oil after being stored for 12 months are lower and have a high amount of fatty acids which shows that the oil is highly nutrients compared to the irradiated one. The thiobarbituric acid relative substances TBARS, of the samples were analyzed and show the result of both samples. After being tested, both shows an increasing value of TBARS. He also tested the effect of irradiation and storage time on the colors of the oil which shows that the irradiation has decreased the colors of oil and less light. The results of the research illustrated that acid TBARS and the iodine values went into conditions which were irradiated and non-radiated in a storage period for about 12 months were below the limits of desirable, yet it is considered as the beneficial oils to be used. This is the flowchart of research activities for extracting the oil. First, 1 kg of peanuts was cleaned from any foreign matter to ensure that the samples did not have a heavy metal attached to it, which can cause the material to be contaminated. For the next process, the clean peanuts will be heated under a temperature of below 50 degrees Celsius on a shallow pan with a Bunsen burner for about an hour. The sample was heated to remove any unwanted material and foreign matter. The peanut beans under the pressure will proceed to be pressed to collect the oils by using a 1500W CZR109 automatic oil press machine with a 304 stainless steel peanut pressure with 110 volt. Before proceeding the extraction of oil, all the apparatus such as spatula were cleaned and rinsed with acetone or isopropanol to prevent contamination on the sample. The sample of peanut beans was sieved using a lesser than 50 micrometer test sieve to achieve lesser than 50 micrometer of the oil with no other mixture of other substances. The peanut beans that were too big were pressed again to get the desired size to extract the sample until all the sample passed through the lesser than 50 micrometer test sieve. Next, the sample will be kept aside for a while to make sure that the mixture of oil with other substances will be separated based on their densities before the mixture of oil and, it and additive will continue. This is the flowchart of research activities for the mixing of oil with other substances. The extracted oil will be then carefully blended with the pigment, resins and waxes as the carriers. Firstly, to get the black printing ink, it was formulated from the carriers through the heating process under a temperature of 65 to 70 degrees Celsius and then blended with 1% botulated hydrozytoluene with 6 to 20% carbon black. The temperature that undergoes an inverted was important to dissolve the BHT. The pigment then needed to be dispersed with a sharp high speed dispenser that works at 2500 to 3000 RPM over 5 to 7 hours. Color pigments, carriers, and additive were premixed with a sharp high speed dispenser at 2500 RPM for about 20 to 30 ren. The diffusion of the pigments was done in an eager mini mill. It is filled with 2 mm crop steel balls that work at 3500 RPM for about 10 minutes. To increase the clotting of the ink, Benton 1 to 8 was combined to the ink in an amount of 0.5 to 2% to modify the viscosity based on the needs and to increase the brightness of the ink. The hydrate R can be added to the solutions about 20% of it. 
The extracted peanut oil that were used in producing a vegetable base ink need to be tested for its pre and post condition after irradiation by gamma. It is tested by using a GC17A Shimazu chromatograph to get the determination of fatty acids in both condition. There were also the use of Avaspec spectrometer version 1 to evaluate the colors of samples when it was radiated and not radiated based on the journal from Mahfoud Al Bashir 2015. Firstly, the objective which want to study the physical and chemical properties of beans by Barros and Prudentia has concluded that the beans with small size with lighter colors, higher level of proximate and mineral composition such as copper, ferrum and potassium together with medium hardness after cooking, lower cooking time required, water absorption capacity and the greater integrity after cooking were the good choice of beans that can be used for domestic and industrial use. This is the figure from the research by Barros and Prudential in 2016 entitled Proximate Composition of Bean Varieties. The second objective which want to study the effect of peanut oil during the pre and post condition after irradiation was portrayed by the peanut oil that shows the low level of desirable limit for the acid, TBARS and the iodine values through the research. The study concluded that peanut oils were classified as good oils to be used for human needs. This is the figure of effect of gamma radiation and storage period on biochemical properties of peanut oil by Mahfoud Al-Bashir in 2000. 2015. Through the research, it shows that peanut oil is suitable for the use of printing ink today. The ink made from peanut oil is an ink that was eco-friendly to the world. It implemented better colors when it was tempered on surfaces, has low rub resistance compared to petroleum-based ink and this ink does not have higher volatile organic compounds. Petroleum-based ink more likely to release VOC when it has dried and required higher usage of solvent to clean the printer press. It is safe to use ink from vegetable oil in the food packaging since it has low VOC. Regrettably, with the innovation of this type of ink, it can help in the way of printing today. As it is an eco-friendly ink, it can generate a clean and conducive environment condition to humankind as well as introducing to a lot of excellent effects on the industries of printing. This is the list of references that I use to make my work. With that and an end, thank you.